Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a very quick and easy eyebrow tutorial. Uh, we're going to use very simple, affordable products today. The first thing I'm using is this dual ended brush from Morphe. You can find these at the drugstore as well. It has a slanted brush on one side, an angled brush, and then a spoolie on the other. And I'm just using this spoolie to brush my eyebrows hair upwards. As you can see, I have extremely sparse brows. And then the pencil that I'm using today is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. This is also very affordable. And what I'm going to do now is just outline my brows. Now that I brush my hairs up, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a line underneath just where the hair ends, just like that. And then I'm also going to create a small curve right at that brow bone right there, just like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on top, uh, sticking close to where the hair ends. We don't want extremely like boxy brows. And then when you get to that brow bone on top, you're going to curve downwards and have those two lines meet so that you have a really nice arch. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Um, I like to do upward strokes sometimes, but honestly, my brows are so thin that I need to fill in a lot. If you have thicker brows, then you really don't need to fill in too much. But I'm just going to take my time filling it in until I like the way that it looks. And this pencil is very pigmented, but also very, it has a fine point. So I feel like it provides a very nice and precise application. And as you can see, I'm really taking my time. The number one thing that I say, even if you don't have a lot of time, to do your makeup, your brows, take your time with your brows. I mean, we are taking less than five minutes today, but um, just make sure that you fill in everywhere carefully. And I also drew a line down to perfect the front part of the brow. We are gonna make it look more natural, but for now we're just drawing it on to go ahead and clean it up and make it look more natural later. But we just wanna draw them on because as you can tell, my brows are almost non-existent. I also drew a line down the front of the brows, you could tell earlier, just to make it look more perfect. And now I'm going in with the spoolie to brush that towards the other brow. And that's going to make it look a little bit more natural. But then I'm going in with my pencil again to fill it in just a bit to make it look more perfect, but natural. If you know what I mean, just fill it in just a little bit so that it doesn't look too sparse or too dark. And I think that looks great. But now we're going to go ahead and go in with concealer. The concealer that I'm using at the moment is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer in the shade light beige you can use any concealer that you like and i'm taking the slanted um side of that brush and i'm just gonna go right under my brow hairs and just clean up this is the perfect kind of brush for this it's really nice and easy so i'm just gonna clean up um under and also on top sometimes on top i like to use foundation but today i haven't finished the rest of my makeup so i'll be going in with setting powder but if your makeup is already done i recommend that you use foundation so that you, your brows on top you don't have like a white cast on top then i'm also going to go ahead and use some concealer going down in the front part of my brow and that's just going to give it that nice perfect effect but yeah just take your time cleaning up your brows with the concealer And you can also just go ahead and use your fingers because the natural warmth of your hands help to like break down the concealer and to melt into your skin. So go ahead and use your finger for that. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up until I like the way that it looks. This is the way that it looks. Can you guys see the difference? It's incredible. And I only use, what, two products? This is another clip from another makeup tutorial where the rest of my makeup is finished. And as you can see, what a huge difference in my brows. Honestly, my brows are not sisters, so they don't look perfect. They don't look identical. But I think if you compare like right here, the before and after, they look great. And I only use two products. And again, this is a close up. But I think that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.